slowly out. But try and keep your arm connected to his shoulders. Angle right there, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, that's better. Yeah. So you can go down lower. Yeah. Even body lower as well. Well, we've had uh, three days in a room and it's been exciting because it's the first time we've had some bodies in the space we really really are absolutely at the germ sort of the, the sort of the, the the first seed if you like of what what this could be it's really only when you start to see bodies in the space that you get kind of a connection between these ideas that have been in your imagination and what's tangible it feels like the 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 special skills set, if you like, and they are going to be made up of um, predominantly dance dance artists. That um, they are a very um, multifunctional performer within the uh, within the, the universe of what this piece is going to be. The animators moving their onion skin sketches backwards and forwards, and you go, well, that's it's Philip Glass. It's that repetitive pattern that has a kind of beauty to it that changes slightly every time you do it and and then you see the things roll together so you go there's a definite connection so we should explore that um, and then Ben brought in the idea of the the performers exploring cartoon like movements at the moment we're doing the washes on the on the painting as it were rather than the details um, and you're looking for the atmospheres of what might up, end up in there, or creating a vocabulary that you can then do in lots of different ways. And I think if people feel like they're playing, if they feel like they're having a good time, then inevitably better ideas come forward and, and it feels a very positive, brilliant kind of process. It's great when you can really trust your performers and say, this is the idea, can we make something out of this? And then suddenly this cloud of activity begins and you just, it's merely by suggestion somehow. There's this story that's the Disney story, which is the bright kind of fantastic. And then there's the sort of flip side of that, which is Disney's awareness of his own mortality. As he gets closer to death, what lives on? Is it the fantasy world that he's created? And what happens to him? As boys, we caught fish with our bare hands. We watched the squirrels and deer. We helped our anxious fathers. So 